Hey garden guardians, welcome to Angel Love's Garden. Peace and blessings to all. Let's get growing. Hey garden guardians, it's Angel aka Lily with Angel Love's Garden. And today I'm going to show you a little bit about the Kushaw, the one squash I've gotten so far this year, the only squash so far, um, the Kushaw squash. And it was from Homestead Hard Seeds. Um, I saw her Kushaw last year and I just wanted to try it so bad. So um, I got one. It wasn't, I would say it was a pretty decent sized squash. I'll put insert a picture because as you can see, I'm, I'm already cutting it up. But I'll insert a picture of it, um, of how it was, but the um, beetles had started attacking it. So I had to go ahead and take it off the vine and I'm cooking it tonight. Um, so I was looking up, you know, recipes or how you should cook it. So of course we had to take, take out the inner parts, just like a pumpkin. You know, and there's plenty of seeds, y'all. I got mad seeds now, okay? Uh, them good Kushaw seeds. Uh, once you take out the middle or the stuffing of it, and I have to go through because there's more seeds in there. And you want to peel the skin off of it. That's what I did. And then the next thing I have is over here in the roasting pan that I'm gonna roast it probably with some herbs, some oil, you know, get it tasting lovely, some garlic, some onions, all that. But I don't think I'm gonna cook all of this. I think I'm going to save some, put some in the freezer. So we'll cook maybe four pieces of it and save another four. So I just wanted to show y'all that's how um, I'm preparing the Kushaw. After I've cooked it, I will let y'all know what it tastes like um, and how I like it. So far, I love squash, so I think this is gonna be awesome. Um, I may also do some type of uh, dressing, not dressing, some type of a little bit of stuffing or seasonings uh, with other vegetables on top. We'll see what I do with it. But this is um, the gist of general, in general, how you can cook it. You take out the inner parts and the seeds, you peel the skin, and you can chop it up into uh, cubes, or you can leave it this way, roasted. That's what I'm doing today. I may chop the other pieces up, we'll see. But I just wanted to show you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'll let you know how it tastes in the next uh, section of this video. All right, Garden Guardian. So I've made dinner. We got hush puppies. We have the Kushaw, piece of Kushaw here that I cooked. I roasted it in the oven with some garlic and other roasted vegetables that I charred, pepper, um, tilapia with other roasted vegetables and seasonings from the garden, including chive pods, rosemary, you know, all of our herb garden, uh, different flavors, some basil, a lot of different flavors. And we have some jasmine rice. So we're gonna try the Kushaw. This is my first time trying Kushaw, I'm excited and I'll let you know how it tastes. Hold on. All right, y'all, so I'm gonna taste the Kushaw right here. I have butter, a lot of different seasonings on it, so I'm excited to see how it tastes. Let's see. Oh, okay, that's good. It just tastes like really good buttery squash. Ooh, but that's some good flavor. I like that squash. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. I like that. I like that a lot. Let's see. Okay. Look at that. That's yummy. Okay. So. This was Kusha squash, the only uh, squash I actually got at all this year so far. It's um, Homestead Heart Kusha squash seeds. It is absolutely delicious. I can understand why she loves Kusha so much. 
And this Kushaw squash actually provided me a lot of seeds. So I will be growing this again. I really am enjoying it. It tastes very good roasted. So we will be doing Kushaw again next year. I just wanted to show y'all. I'm sorry, I'm the only one that like charred vegetables because I love them. So good, okay. So, I'm gonna go ahead and finish eating dinner. I just wanted to show you guys this. This is my first time eating Kushaw. It is very good. If you have opportunity to grow it, it gets to be a pretty big squash. Mine didn't have the chance to get that big because the beetles were starting to attack it. But it was still big. It was pretty a decent, pretty much a decent sized squash. Um, so if you may want to try it next year, I would suggest yes, because it's delicious. I do want to thank y'all again for watching Angel Loves Gardening. Y'all stay blessed. Bye-bye.